Bloodhound Cancers, Understanding the Risks Cancer is a devastating disease that affects millions of people around the world. However, did you know that dogs can also develop cancer? Bloodhound dogs, in particular, are known to be prone to certain types of cancers. In this article, we will delve into the topic of bloodhound cancers and explore the risks associated with them. Understanding Bloodhounds Bloodhounds are large breed dogs known for their exceptional sense of smell and tracking abilities. They are often used in law enforcement and search and rescue missions due to their keen sense of scent. Bloodhounds have a lifespan of around 8 to 10 years, but unfortunately, their predisposition to certain cancers can significantly impact their health and longevity. Types of Cancers in Bloodhounds Bloodhounds are prone to developing certain types of cancers more than other breeds. Let's take a closer look at these cancers. 1. Lymphoma Lymphoma is a cancer of the lymphatic system, which is a part of the immune system. Bloodhounds have a higher risk of developing lymphoma compared to other dog breeds. Common symptoms of lymphoma include swollen lymph nodes, weight loss, decreased appetite, and lethargy. 2. Mast cell tumors Mast cell tumors are a type of skin cancer that commonly affects bloodhounds. These tumors can vary in severity and may appear as skin masses or ulcers. Mast cell tumors can be malignant or benign, and early detection is crucial for successful treatment. 3. Bone Cancer Bloodhounds are also more susceptible to developing bone cancer, particularly osteosarcoma. This aggressive cancer primarily affects the long bones of the legs and is characterized by intense pain, lameness, and swelling. For hemangiosarcoma, hemangiosarcoma is a highly malignant cancer that originates from the blood vessels. This cancer can affect various organs, including the spleen, liver, and heart. Bloodhounds have an increased risk of developing hemangiosarcoma compared to other breeds. Understanding the risks. The high incidence of cancer in bloodhounds is a result of genetic predispositions and environmental factors. Here are some factors that contribute to the increased risk of cancer in bloodhounds. 1. Genetics. Bloodhounds have a genetic predisposition to certain cancers. Through selective breeding, some bloodlines may have a higher risk of developing cancer than others. Responsible breeders work towards minimizing these risks through genetic testing and careful breeding practices. 2. Size and weight. Bloodhounds are a large breed with deep chests. This body structure can contribute to an increased risk of specific cancers, such as hemangiosarcoma, that affect the organs located in the chest and abdomen. 3. Environmental factors. Environmental factors, such as exposure to toxins or chemicals, can also play a role in the development of cancer. Bloodhounds should be kept in a clean and safe environment to minimize their exposure to harmful substances. Prevention and treatment. While the risk of cancer in bloodhounds cannot be completely eliminated, there are steps that can be taken to reduce the chances of developing these cancers. 1. Regular veterinary checkups. Regular checkups are essential for early detection of any potential health issues, including cancer. Bloodhounds should undergo thorough physical examinations, blood tests, and screenings for specific cancers. 2. Proper nutrition. Providing a balanced and nutritious diet is crucial for maintaining overall health and reducing the risk of cancer. Consult your veterinarian for dietary recommendations specific to bloodhounds. 3. Exercise and Weight Management Bloodhounds should engage in regular exercise to maintain a healthy weight. Obesity can increase the risk of developing certain cancers, so it's important to manage their weight effectively. For environmental awareness, ensure that your bloodhound is kept in a safe and clean environment, minimizing their exposure to toxins and chemicals. In terms of treatment, various options are available, including surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and immunotherapy. The treatment plan will depend on the type and stage of cancer. It's essential to consult with a veterinarian specializing in oncology to determine the best treatment approach for your bloodhound. Conclusion Bloodhound cancers are a significant concern for owners of this beloved breed. Understanding the risks associated with these cancers and taking preventative measures can greatly improve the chances of early detection and successful treatment. 
By staying vigilant and providing the necessary care and attention, we can help our bloodhounds live long and healthy lives.